Hey guys, welcome to the Future Tech Podcast and I'm your host Chris Fernando. In this podcast series, we speak about the latest and the greatest in the world of tech, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, digital transformation and lots more. In today's episode, I'm joined by Akshat Anand Joshi, who is the lead for fintech, blockchain and emerging tech at Karam Legal and Luna Delonge, the partner at Karam Legal. We speak about the uptake of AI and IoT in this region. the role these technologies play in our day to day life the legal framework governing these technologies and lots more so let's start with you akshata what sort of uptake have you seen in the iot and ai related tech in this region hi first of all thank you for having us uh, very grateful right so uh, sp- uh, specifically when speaking of iot and ai and i'd like to kind of deal with them separately uh when speaking of iot what we have seen uh, in the region especially is that a lot of telecom uh, providers and authorities have increasingly tried and tested the use of iot based solutions to enhance uh, you know either be it be it their 5g networks or be it other telecom services that they're providing so there's this been a lot of surge in and surge in activity in that respect Similarly uh, a lot of private players who are involved in the supply chain management have also tried uh, to utilize iot solutions more and more uh, we are aware of many such uh, supply chain uh, giants who have uh, you know tried and tested the iot solutions similarly when we speak of smart cities so middle east is actually a region which is which is absolutely ripe for implementation of smart cities there are a lot of concepts which have been built uh, around smart cities in the last uh, couple of years uh, specifically in ua and ksa we have seen uh, a lot of interest and enthusiasm in this regard so even the smart cities uh, are trying to implement iot and ai solutions for for developing a, a more seamless sort of ecosystem uh again when speaking of ai i think what we have seen more and more is that uh, the use of ai has in, uh, increased significantly uh definitely in case of smart cities but also a lot in the financial world uh, itself we've seen a lot of solutions which are trying to enhance your you know regular credit lending uh borrowing kind of models there is a lot of uh, surge in the use of ai in the entire digital investment management space so that that is again something which is very promising so in that sense what sort of role will these technologies play in our day to day life i think in that regard we've been very lucky i'd like to say because uh, we've seen these technologies play a very very important role uh, as we speak like in especially during these times during the times of covid we've seen that uh, entire dubai for instance was sanitized with the help of drones like you know uh, we we've been able to witness that live so i think we're very lucky that it's happening it's already there uh similarly uh, we we've been made aware that a lot of hospitals and a lot of medical facilities were also supporting the government with uh, the entire contract tracing based on the use of ai and iot devices because they wanted to track and trace the infected uh, patients and then you know uh, the movement the mobility was kind of determined accordingly so luckily for us that's that's something that we have seen in play uh i i personally am very excited and i'm very much looking forward to the implementation of smart cities because when that really comes into play the daily transactions uh even the smallest of transactions in uh, retail you know general uh, transactions when it comes to payments of your bills your uh, other daily requirements that that is something that is going to become much more seamless with the implementation of let's say iot and ai based solutions uh of course there is there are you know going to be concerns about the data that is getting collected and you know the the kind of uh, implementation of necessary laws that one must look at those those concerns are there but all in all i do believe and i'm i'm very hopeful that uh, lives are going to become much more seamless with the use of these uh as we speak up uh, we are you know we should we should be very even grateful that uh, ua is already in the phase of implementing the hyperloop between dubai and abu dhabi so even that's something that's uh, happening now so yeah great times so what according to you are the legal framework required around iot and ai related technologies 
Um, so the legal framework for IoT and AI related technologies indeed needs to be all encompassing. It it can't just touch upon a certain aspect and then sort of uh, not not you know uh, take into account the others. So when when speaking of these technologies, the most fundamental legal principles that need to exist are for definitely data protection. Uh, cyber security because there's a lot of data that is going to be you know ming mingling in the cyberspace and also very importantly the liability factor of who are the players who are kind of uh, giving these solutions who are the players who are collecting such a data and who are the players who are going to be responsible for processing such a data so those the dynamics between these three are going to play the most important role when it comes to effective implementation of such technologies similarly when when it comes to specific sectors uh, sector specific laws will have a greater role to play uh, let's say if ai is used in medicine and healthcare then there's a lot at stake of course uh, the data of patient is going to be more in more sensitive personal data and personal data so that's definitely an implication that that uh, needs to be looked at and similarly uh, in in cases of finance if ai and iot is used then definitely there is a lot of risk when it comes to uh, using ai based solutions because if they go into the investment arena then there is a lot of investment protection which is at stake and uh, it, it this there needs to be a significant assessment of how the investors and uh, the creditors are getting protected in such scenarios let's say if, if companies and if uh, you know investment advice is based on ai solutions so luna this question is for you through these technologies and a regulatory framework in place how can businesses become more agile more adaptable and more efficient AI and IoT are transforming how people do business today. Simply put, AI can be understood as technology that enables machines to imitate human behavior in an intelligent way. IoT, on the other hand, is a network of devices and sensors which are connected to the internet and also perhaps interlinked and connected with other devices. Some vital statistics which may be of interest to you are that every second, 127 new IoT devices are connected to the internet. The international IoT market is estimated to be worth approximately 1.7 trillion US dollars. AI is able to boost business output by up to 40%, and 41% of consumers deem that AI will improve their lives in some way, shape, or form. Both IoT and AI are powerful technologies. They are capable of making a business smarter. If these technologies are combined, it can enable enterprises to achieve even greater digital transformation than seen before. Today, these innovative technologies are having a major impact on how businesses can maximize their profits, function more efficiently, businesses can complete mammoth tasks quicker and more precisely so, saving both time and money. Some of these best examples of the implementation of these technologies in the business world include the following. In terms of in inventory tracking and management, where businesses rely on storage and warehousing, um, in, let's say for example in a retail business, where they, whereby they can be aided in effectively tracking and managing inventory, giving them the option to automatically control these systems with the use of this technology. Secondly, also in terms of data sharing and perception. So data collection and exchange are vital for business functions and growth. Both of these technologies have totally transformed the way that da data is handled. Not only does it offer greater access to consumer data, but IoT devices can track and record patterns in which a user interacts with the devices. Users get a better experience, while businesses can easily interpret that data for improvement and growth. Thirdly, improved customer experience. So there are a multitude of ways in which companies can use AI or IoT devices to improve customer experience. One such example would be the facilitation of services by AI chatbots, where you can program a chatbot to address any issue that a customer may have, and the chatbot is then programmed to offer such customer a solution. Then also, when we look at data mining, applications 
being able to speedily discover vital and significant findings during the, the processing of big data is one of the biggest advantages of using um, AI. In terms thereof, a business can gain insightful uh, intelligence and in so doing can gain a competitive edge in any marketplace. Data mining can also help with predicting future trends um, and to give one a, again a competitive edge above uh, their competition. They allow for in-depth analysis of a, a user or customer's target market. Um, they help you to make informed and correct decisions in line with your business and they can help you to avoid costly mistakes in doing so. Lastly, also, when we look at automatic uh, or automation of operations, where technologies are used to increase automation uh, in a certain industry. So one such example could be control robots in factories with AI, uh, or they regulate, um, or the, where the technologies regulate ideal temperatures in a facility via intelligent heating and cooling. Um, in countries such as Japan, robots can look like humans and they now serve as receptionists in some hotels. They can automate check-ins, they can take booking services, and they deal in different languages with customers. Uh, also in China, where this technology is used to capture criminals. Um, so using a vast CCTV network and because of AI technology allowing for facial recognition, they are able to spot and track suspected criminals and in so doing serve uh, the ends of justice. With such technologies, security is always a big priority. How can companies make sure that security for such technologies and users is taken care of? AI and IoT technology enabled devices are vulnerable to security breaches, unwarranted exposure of data and also to cyber attacks. Anyone who is able to gain control of one or more of these technology enabled devices can access a huge number of computers and networks that are all interlinked and in communication with such device. Banks, governments, the healthcare industry and even private homes are major risks at the present moment. Cyber criminals are very much aware of this and they wish to exploit any vulnerabilities posed. The fact is that the more devices that are interlinked, the more data there is that can be compromised. With a number of connected devices increasing, enormous IoT data has been generated that is transferred between physical and cloud-based network environments. The moot question then remains, is data secure? During the last couple of years, there were various IoT security failures ranging from targeted devices relying on predictable passwords to interrupting and breaching communication systems and creating a new entry point to the network. This increased vulnerability has led businesses to implement uh, technologies including that of artificial intelligence and machine learning enabled solutions um, in order to meet the sophistication of hackers and become more advanced than traditional security measure, measures which were previously employed and which were rendered ineffective uh, through the progression. Uh, progressive technologies such as AI and machine learning have helped in improving security by reducing security breaches and increasing operational efficiency. The generalist acceptance and best practice favours the adoption of a risk-based and proportionate approach. The higher the risk, the more stringent regulation and oversight is required over such technology and devices. When adopting any new technology, it is only prudent business practice to properly vet such technologies and devices in relation to privacy, data protection and security standards. Businesses are to be mindful of the governing standards locally or to look internationally for guidance to determine whether their product or service cuts the mustard in line with the business's regulatory framework, ensuring both compliance and proper governance at all levels of the business where such technology is availed. Employers must also be mindful of the need for workforce training. In order to ensure that AI and IoT um, and devices and technologies are deployed properly, employees will need to be trained on its use. In order to also best facilitate security practices, a security by design principle is best employed throughout a business and is to be accepted as a foundational um, principle in adopting any technology or, or devices to be used by such a business.
with the use of AI and IoT, lots of data will be generated. Can you clarify the regulations around the subject? How can governments make sure that such data are safely stored and not misused? New developing and innovative technology necessarily brings with it new uncertainties. These uncertainties represent a risk to the public, which governments at all levels are responsible for ameliorating. Complicating this issue is the fact that at the emergence of new technology, the full array of its eventual and possible uses cannot be known. Therefore, it can be quite difficult to forecast the potential dangers that such technologies pose to the public. The first step to reducing the uncertainty and risk around AI and IoT-enabled technologies is to gain a proper understanding of what it is, how it functions, what purpose it serves to facilitate, and how government agencies may need to interact with it. AI and IoT form the architecture and suite of technologies needed to create, communicate, aggregate, analyze and act upon digital information in the physical world. In the interest of building confidence in connected technology, there is an undeniable need for the government to regulate AI and IoT from the perspective of consumer protection, especially insofar as it relates to security and privacy. The difficulties faced are that the technologies are fast proliferating with such technologies, processes and its uses emerging almost daily. Whilst traditional regulatory processes are measured and slow, not to mention the possibility of creating a legislative gridlock and bottleneck that can stall the regulatory process for years in the implementation of rules and laws to govern the necessary technologies. Even beyond the general difficulties in regulating fast-moving technologies, privacy presents special challenges. As digital information moves rapidly around the globe, it can encounter many different regulatory regimes. Companies can aim to comply with each nation's privacy rules, but there are different rule sets and they are often built upon entirely different legal conceptions of privacy, resulting in, at times, contradictory rules, making compliance with certain rules um, nearly impossible or at least cumbersome. If these technologies are to reach its full intended potential, it will almost certainly involve collecting and transmitting data across national borders, but data is both different and intangible. A nation's underlying differences on the core concepts of privacy make such regulations cumbersome in respect of these technologies. Certain issues exist with transnational fragmentation, a weight resolution, and in a way that protects both consumers globally, yet allows for connected technology to thrive. Thank you, Akshita and Luna, for speaking to us. It was nice having you both on the Future Tech Podcast.